guys welcome back so today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video I'm going to be doing a first impression on the new sleek highlighting palette in Cleopatra's Kiss I did post a picture of this on my Instagram and I asked you guys if you wanted to see a first impression and me applying it on and some swatches and you guys well a lot of you said that you did so um, I'm filming that today this is fairly new I believe it came out last week so I'm really excited to try it yeah it's been a popular one so I've kept my base fairly matte so that you guys can really see the highlighter let me just show you the packaging look how pretty this is I don't know if this is focusing but it does have like it's like a nice pretty gold packaging which is reflecting like what's behind me right now I feel like the packaging is so so pretty I mean look at that it's just like it feels so luxurious so when you open it this is what it looks like it's got two cream shades and two powder shades and you get a little tiny brush in there and I feel like the colors are really nice and bronzy you do get a really good sized mirror in here so this whole part is a mirror and I feel like this whole thing is just so amazing like I'm so excited about this so the shades are called Sphinx Delta, Dynasty and Goddess. I'm going to try and use all of them on my face right now so you guys can see what they all look like. I'm going to maybe try like a cream on each side. Yeah, I think I'll just try the cream on their own and then I'll just put the highlight on top. So the first shade that I'm going to be using is this one. This is Delta and it's just like a nice rose gold kind of colour. So I'm going to just take this with my finger and then tap it on. So once I touch them, they feel very, very creamy. I'm going to be tapping Delta into my skin. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Do you know what I love about this? Even though like I already have makeup on my face right now, like I've set my under eye, it's not like looking cakey, it's like blending so seamlessly. Normally I would put the cream highlighter right after my foundation but just for this video i'm putting it on top of everything and i'm kind of surprised that it's not caking oh my goodness look at that can you guys see that so the next color that i'm going to try is the more champagne cream highlight this is like a pure uh i don't know like a champagne gold highlighter the other one's a bit more rosy not rosy but but yeah a bit more rose gold and then the other one's just like a pure kind of gold so i'm just gonna put this on this side i mean this one i feel like a bit more intense but it's really really pretty oh my god so this one's a bit more subtle i feel like and then this one's like really intense but anyhow i do love both of them off the bat i have to tell you guys i'm not really like if you guys watch my tutorials i'm not really into cream highlighters but this one like seems really really good it looks very natural it doesn't look very glittery which i kind of hate um it looks like an inner glow and you can pack as much as you want i feel like and it will look amazing so now I'm just going to go in with the powder highlights and I'm going to try and put this like kind of all over so you can kind of see maybe here as well. So the next shade I'm going to be taking is Sphinx. This is like the, the shade that I kind of straight away look at when I open the palette. It's just like a nice kind of bronzy highlight colour. It looks so pretty. I'm using a Morphe M509 brush. Like this is like my go-to highlighter brush. oh my god that is some intense highlight that is like so pretty so i'm putting some here on its own it's really nice if you pack it on top of the highlighter it's right it's like intense highlighting like i would wear this like on a night out i wouldn't wear this on a daily but this i would wear like every day that's my highlighter like i pack on highlighter just on its own but this is like intense and it just looks really pretty. Oh my god. It's definitely really comparable to the um, uh, Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. 
I mean, it's a bit more on the gold side, but then when you put it on, it looks very similar. So let me try some on this side of that Sphinx cutter. I feel like I'm gonna be glowing like a goddess at the end of this video. Oh my gosh, look at that. Say, so, like, it does look very glittery. It doesn't look, it just looks like an intense sheen. Like, look at that. That is intense. Um, so that's how it is on its own. Like, I really like it on its own, but if you obviously want it to be more intense, then you can definitely pack the highlighter underneath. So now I'm going to be using the last and final shade, and I'm actually going to try and use the brush in that's in the palette, because I haven't even used it yet. And this shade is Goddess. This one's more on the pinky side. It's not really a, a shade I would tend to go for, but we're gonna try it anyways. So I'm just taking it on the brush. Ugh. I have to say though, I'm really not <laughs> pleased with the brush, but it is a drugstore pr product. For the price, it's not a big deal. Um, so I'm just gonna use um, another brush. I just feel like that brush was really hard. So that is a uh, goddess. It's actually really nice. It's like, I feel like the two, these two shades are less intense, but then these two are like proper highlight. That's what I'm getting off it on the first go. Let me just put some here. Like that's, so this is Sphinx and then that's Goddess. They look very similar on the skin. Um, let me just put some on the nose. Let me try and put some here. So this side's getting giving more of a sheen, this one not much. See, that's such a softer sheen compared to this one. And then there you go, that one. Like, it's just a bit softer, I feel like. Um, so my thoughts on it really is that it's really good. I would literally give this a 10 out of 10. Actually, a 9.5 because of the brush, but that's not really a big deal and I'm not really fussed about it. It just feels very tough and I don't think it's like the nice, it, was, it, it wouldn't be like the go-to brush I would use for highlighter. Um, but I love the creams, I love the powders, I love the shades, I love the packaging, I love the price, um, it's super affordable and you've got like a nice um, good range of highlighters to use so this is, if you're like obsessed with highlighters you have to go with this one. Um, so I believe I got this for like $9.99 but at the moment Superdrug is doing 20% off. I don't know when, I think it finishes on the 5th of October. With uni days you just need a Superdrug card and um, you will get 20% off if you're a student and I got 10% actually but at the moment they're doing 20% so might buy some more makeup. I'm just gonna put a bit of Sphinx on my eyes so just with my finger. That looks really, really nice. So I just used this on my lids and that looks really, really nice on the lid. And now I'm just gonna take a bit of, well, a bit, take a bit of Delta, the cream one, and then I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner. So, that's pretty. And then I'm just gonna like get a bit of Goddess and then just pack that on. See that is some intense inner corner highlight right there. Oh my god. I definitely like that combo for the inner corner. I'm just gonna take a bit of that same color, Goddess, and then just highlight the brow bone. Oh my God, I'm like proper glowing right now. That looks amazing, oh my God. Let's try like the, 
Let's try Dynasty highlighter. So that's this one. And I'm just going to use that on my brow bone. It's a bit subtle than this one, but you can definitely see the highlight there. Let's put a little bit on the Cupid's bow. I think that's the end of this video I absolutely love it you guys probably can tell that I do and I thought I would I saw the colors online and I'm like oh my god I need to get this palette no wonder it's getting so much hype at the moment it's really worth the money and it's just so fun to play with and it's definitely something I'm going to be using a lot on the daily thank you guys so much for watching make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and I will see you all in my next video bye guys